I think Lewis is getting the hurry up now. He'll see in his mirrors some other cars coming. He's got to get this move done. No, Alonso's gone. Alonso. Alonso went to defend there. He's forced Hamilton round the outside. And they're going wheel to wheel. Hamilton really does have to yield there to Fernando Alonso because the last thing he wants is a second puncture in this race. And Alonso was mightily close to him. Now, with DRS, and Alonso's got his DRS open as well. Can he have a go round the outside into turn four? No. Alonso with some great defending, positioning his car perfectly there. The widest McLaren in the whole wide world there uh, momentarily. Lewis will be a, have a bit of chagrin about that, especially when he drops it on the outside. Here goes Hamilton trying again and he's going to try around the outside again. Heavy braking into turn one and this time Fernando Alonso and Hamilton do touch and there was damage uh, to one of the cars and I think it was from the right hand side of Hamilton's Mercedes. Alonso forcing him around the outside not making it easy at all but now Hamilton with DRS goes down towards turn four gets ahead of Fernando Alonso and Alonso fights back. Hamilton is forced wide now has the inside line didn't leave the track fully that's great driving from Lewis Hamilton. Hamilton. Great defending from Fernando Alonso. What a show those two have put on for ninth place. Hamilton up into ninth and Alonso still biting back at him. What do you think? He went off the track from the overtaking or he was okay? It was good racing but fair racing. Alonso with DRS getting even closer. I think he's just... going to have a real go here Ted because he's already alongside Lewis Hamilton tries to go around the outside but just didn't quite have the straight line speed to nose ahead by the time he turned left you get such an acute angle when you get in it's always dirty up the inside there big push Lewis big push yeah, I'm pushing man I'm pushing here goes Fernando Alonso again, has to go left down into the first turn. We ride on board with him now, makes the turn in Hamilton, has that covered, but much better traction from the Ferrari out of that corner. Hamilton though taking a great line through turn two and he's keeping Alonso at bay. This is a brilliant scrap. He's making that Mercedes as wide as he can. Looks like the new S-Class, the way he's driving around then. He's having to at the moment. Alonso goes for it again down the main straight. And here he goes, switching out to the left-hand side. Hamilton's got that inside line covered again. And look at the traction of the Ferrari this time. Not as good as the previous lap and a bit more comfortable. So Alonso tries to go around the outside. Hamilton gives him a car's width. As They're holding covered. each other up, unfortunately. Holding each other up. So should Lewis Hamilton let Alonso go? He might no. not have that option, though. No, no. He's got to, he's got to keep him behind because then when he gets a fresh set of boots, he keeps himself in play with Alonso. Alonso saying that he's running out of rear grip and on the radio has been told you've got to do another 10 laps on them yet and Lewis pits. So I think Mercedes switching their strategy finally Lewis Hamilton is allowed to pit and look how little grip he had coming into the pit lane. Look at this, this could be a surely chance. he's got a chance in the slipstream. I think he might well have, he got better drive, better acceleration out of the slower corners. This could be the lead going for Hamilton. Alonso centers an opportunity. They are side by side down the pit straight in Indianapolis. The two teammates, Hamilton holds his nerve, but Alonso is on the warpath. But I tell you, you know from GP2, you will not frighten Lewis Hamilton off the road. And Hamilton with every opportunity to make a new boy's mistake down there and lock the wheels, didn't, held his line, held his nerve. Look at that for a good slipstream effect, but Hamilton parked his car on the inside and then braked beautifully. That's what comes from being a racing driver from the age of eight. Both of these men were able to start karting at eight years old. They've got so much experience. Hamilton, 14 years of racing experience, and he's only 22, and a steely nerve. Now, we saw a little mistake from Alonso, who goes wide again. What's that all about? The blue flag flying across the road. And uh, Alonso just swerving across that. That's a little signal. It's a little signal to the pit wall, I would imagine. I don't think Fernando's emotions are fully under control in the car or out of the car at the moment. There he is, getting much closer, he's going to have a go on the exit of the chicane. Lewis Hamilton, half a car length ahead of Fernando Alonso as they go wheel to wheel, turning left-handed down towards the hairpin. Hamilton's got the inside line. Alonso just makes him yield and they almost come to a stop, the pair of them. 
Yeah, it was quite uh, good there. But Lewis parked his car on the apex while he sorted himself out. And that was enough to give him the break he needs. But look at the straight line speed of that Ferrari. Hamilton goes to the inside to block him. But he'll have a very tight line through that corner, which will give Alonso tremendous exit speed and DRS. Second place, so tantalisingly close for Fernando Alonso. Now he switches to the right-hand side. And they touch wheels as into turn one they go. But Alonso moves himself up into second place. And Hamilton has to give up that second spot that he's held for so, so long. Alonso Alonso and Hamilton touching wheels, seemingly both coming off untroubled, and it's the Ferrari ahead of the Mercedes. Okay, Lewis, the DRS should be fixed, so use it in both sectors. This battle might not be over just yet, you know. Hamilton kept within DRS, and they've made contact again, because there's a piece falling off either the front wing of Hamilton's Mercedes or the rear of that Ferrari as through the final chicane. They've certainly made contact once more. Remember, just close the door on me and put my wing Copy, copy. Hamilton might try and get past Alonso here, but Kimi Raikkonen coming out of the pits or trying to keep out of the way. Alonso locked up. Alonso locked up. This is going to give him a big chance now well, with Raik DRS round Raik the outside. Raikkonen cost Hamilton the chance to get Alonso into turn one. Might just have cost him overall the chance in the turn two as well. But what Fernando Alonso did there was brilliant defending. Hyper aggressive running him out the outside. Now Lewis, another chance round the outside this time. Wow, Alonso is just brilliant at defending, isn't he? What a great job he did there. I tell you what, Fernando Alonso is doing a wonderful job in defending, not just for himself, but also for his teammate, Esteban Ocon, leading this race at the moment. He might have been thinking, I could be under pressure from Hamilton here, but Fernando, can you hold him up for a little bit? Alonso's looking in his mirrors, needs to look the other way, because Hamilton was trying round the outside, but was a bit too far back again. He's closer now, in towards turn two. DRS once again for Hamilton. Alonso makes Hamilton go the long way round the outside. Oh, they almost touch. Hamilton has to back out of it because he knew he was running out of room. And three laps running. Alonso keeps him at bay. Now we head towards turn four. Hamilton's got the pace. He's not got the room. Alonso's got the racecraft. And he's still got fourth place. Hamilton points seven behind. Nine laps to go. Fuel okay? Fuel is fine. Fuel is fine. Fernando Alonso, who goes over to the right-hand side. Now, Hamilton forces Alonso to defend in the way Nico Rosberg said that he should be doing, but still Fernando Alonso gets better traction going out of Turn 1. Hamilton trying to go around the outside. Here into Turn 2, does break later this time. Not late enough. Alonso stays ahead, but this is going to carry on and on, because don't forget the pace advantage that Mercedes has towards Turn 4. This time he's on one side, and I think they might have touched there as well. Hamilton had to back out of it. Alonso somehow is keeping Hamilton at bay. This is incredible. Guys, you see he just moved over on me, man. Come on. At that speed is so dangerous, man. Down the main straight we go once again, nudging 195 miles an hour. Yes, yes, very close now. Here comes Hamilton. He just backed off a little bit too early, but Alonso is locked up. This is Hamilton's chance. It has been coming for a few laps now. You can hear the cheers from the crowd. Hamilton is up in the fourth place, but he's still got to defend it. Alonso trying to go round the outside, wasn't quite alongside him. And Hamilton is now released from behind the Alpine to chase after Carlos Sainz. But has he got enough laps to do it? Yes.